mystery of stuff. A caterpillar is one of the most commonly known insects, a colorful little worm usually found on trees and among green leafy plants. As children, we would always stand in awe watching the little colorful chubby worms making its way up tree branches. Yet one such little beautiful creature seriously threatened the life of an unsuspecting boy. Scientifically speaking, caterpillars are the larva stage of Lepidoptera insects, orders that includes butterflies and moths. Largely regarded as agricultural pests, 99% of these cute little creatures feed on green leaves. Caterpillars go through a fascinating life cycle that has such a mesmerizing end. As the little worm turns into a pupa before breaking out of its shell into a fully grown, colorful butterfly or moth. The little creatures are characterized by their multiple leg pairs that have them look like a little train. Yet only the first three pairs of legs are true legs, while the remainder are just protrusions, known as prolegs. There are around 180,000 different caterpillar species, little delicate creatures of all colors and sometimes of mind blowing patterns and shapes. Yet not everything that is beautiful is harmless. As a result of living in the wilderness, those little colorful creatures develop defense systems of their own against predators and some of them might be deadly. And a little kid experienced that danger firsthand. In the backyard of her home in Plymouth in Southeast England, Lauren May Jordan was playing with her two little boys as usual. Another sunny day where the little boys played in nature, exploring and bonding with their surroundings. It was only after playtime when the kids went back home for dinner that Lauren suspected that there was something wrong with her son Bo. Yet she didn't think much of it, believing that the little kid might have been tired and so she took him to bed. Yet later on that night, Bo got a fever and started shivering. The little boy told his mother that he was feeling cold and drowsy, and his condition only worsened from then on. When he woke up in the morning, Bo was so lethargic and his face was slightly swollen. Moreover, during the following day, the kid didn't drink as much water as he should, and his condition didn't improve, and Lauren knew that she needed to take her son to the hospital. So, agitated by her son's condition, the worried mother sought the opinions of a number of physicians, including ER doctors, who directed her towards the Accident and Emergency Department of the hospital, where upon examining little Bo, they gave him antihistamine shots, suspecting that these symptoms were the result of an allergic reaction. Trying to discover the reason behind Bo's deteriorating condition, they probed the little boy about what happened on the day he felt sick. The boy didn't recall much at the beginning, then said that it might be the caterpillar that bit him on that day. At that moment, the mother remembered that as Bo was playing by the doorstep, he picked up a caterpillar out of curiosity that he threw it right away, saying that it hurt him. The mother didn't make anything of it, believing that caterpillars are harmless and could be played with. Lauren said that the caterpillar looked like an oak processionary moth. The caterpillars of this moth feed on oak leaves and travel in procession of nose to tail row with a leader on the head of the procession, followed by several caterpillars. The back of each moth is covered with thousands of tiny defensive toxic bristles that can cause rash, itching, eye inflammation, and even respiratory distress. Lauren managed to take a photo of the insect. Yet its quality was so poor, even an insect specialist had a hard time identifying its type. Yet he clearly warned her to keep her young ones away from hairy caterpillars, as those pointed bristles are a defense mechanism designed to inject protein-based venom upon contact with the victim's skin. Experts such as Steve Ogden explained that some people, especially children, are more sensitive to caterpillar venom than others, and thus the best measure to take is to avoid any skin contact with those hairy little creatures. Luckily, though, Bo's condition improved without the need for any further treatment as he shook off the symptoms and recovered quickly. Yet Lauren wanted to make sure that any other children wouldn't face the same situation as her son, and so she posted a warning on Facebook writing that parents had to be aware as her son Bo got stung by a caterpillar that made him fall sick and required him to be taken to the hospital. And though his conditions improved after taking any histamines, things could have gotten worse and so parents must be careful and keep their kids away from hairy caterpillars, or even such a small beautiful insect can be extremely harmful. Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell 
so you'll never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.